Hey everybody, it's another vet video. Today I'm putting race quip race seats in a C5 Corvette, building brackets, doing the whole thing, cutting up the seats, here we go. I'm gonna put some race quip race seats in my C5 Corvette today. This has been a mission, uh, just picking out seat sizes to fit me that you can fit in a Corvette. Corvettes have room for putting a seat in because the stock seats, I got a couple right here. They're like two little lady fingers. Those things are terrible. They're very, very thin. It's like these cars were made for skinny little people and they're made in America for Americans, which are mostly, you know, husky. Most us, most Americans are pretty husky, but I'm a pretty good sized guy, four foot ten, 275 pounds, and I don't fit in those little cars. Neither does my seat. So I got to run an XL seat, which I can't fit an XL in here at all. It's bigger than the car, so I'm running a large, which I fit in pretty good. It's a little snug, but maybe I need to lose some weight. These are just some reference points to try and set the height up in here, and I'm going to have to cut most of the side bolstering off of the seat to clear this shit right here to get the seat to line up straight because this area between here and here is really really thin it's also really thin back here i had to pull the whole pillar out and pull the seat belt out which i'm going to trim this guy down and make this at least still look like i have some nice plastic shit here so it's not all hood looking i want my interior to be nice this is going to be a drift slut but i like nice interior in my drift slut I like nice interior in all my shit. My pre-runner has maximum luxury interior too, and uh, it just makes me feel good. I want to be comfortable. I got a stereo system in this. I was going to take it out, but it. it's a stereo system. So I'm going to start with cutting this whole corner up over here. This pretty much has to go, this pretty much has to go from up here over to like here. All this that sticks out has to come off. So this can line right up against the wall, against the tunnel, the tunnel. Then we can just wrap this foam back around it and then we wrap the cover back around it. There's a big spring that goes across here and pulls everything tight so it just looks, it'll look perfect. These seats are very easy to work with when you gotta fit something. It's really nice to work with these seats when you gotta fit them into a car like this because the covers recover themselves. Nice. As long as you do good work underneath, it'll look nice. <laughs> Nice to get in and out of that. <laughs> you gotta put a little grab handle outside to help out. Drops a nice sound. Handbrake's all done and hooked oh. up. <laughs> Man, she fits. I had to cut the shit out of the seat. The get it to seat. fit in here. Yeah, it's so small in here. Mm -hmm. Man, this just feels weird. I need to be sitting just a little bit lower. Mm -hmm. Well, you have the adjustments on the bracket, it looks like. There's like three holes on the side. Yeah, I got two by fours in here spacing me right now, too. Oh, okay. I can set it like real low. Mm -hmm. But I want to be kind of like sitting in my truck. Yeah, you know? kind of hugging the wheel. Oh, she fits. Let me see that thing. Template. It is. Put it in the car in the bolts and whacked it with a hammer. And I'm just going to use it to mark these drilling points and then I'm going to drill these holes and then I'm going to draw out how I want the bracket to look around that. And we'll go from there. Good lord. All right. It's going to be some pilots.
Now I got some points that I can drill. I'm gonna drill these holes out to the size that I want them to be. Then I'm gonna draw out what I want the bracket to look like inside. I'm gonna set the seat on it. We're gonna do some real serious plane and measuring here in a second. But first we're gonna start with drilling holes because those will be our reference points that we can measure off of the car to measure to this, to measure to the seat. Let's start with a little guy. Make a little pilot. This is pretty thick, gnarly steel. This is a big ass heavy sheet of steel. It's a big ass expensive sheet of steel. You guys want to comment down below and take some guesses on how much just this piece of steel cost right here? Somebody shoot a guess. How much does this piece of steel cost in Bi Bidenomics? <laughs> God, these are damn good drill bits, though. To the car for measurements. time and measurings could you get to the bolts with the metal tray in there you think yeah, I'm gonna have to bolt the seat the seats gonna have to be like fixed to this thing and then I'm gonna have to bolt, bolt it into the car as yeah. an assembly yeah and then the seat is just is where it is I'm just gonna make myself some little tabs here measurement in the car whoa I'm gonna draw this thing all out on here and then I'm gonna cut it out and hopefully I do a good job I'm not very good with a plasma cutter to be honest and then I'm gonna test fit it in the car if it fits in the car nice I'm gonna set it right on top of the steel and retrace just trace the thing out again and make another one exactly the same and then I'll have both sides done at once hopefully that works out pretty good for me cross your fingers Mocking up some straps, I kind of realized that I need to know where these guys go <laughs> before I build a seat bracket and get too excited. Mainly the these guys and the old nut grabber. The nut grabber is kind of like where I'm building my whole base around, where that thing goes down in the center. The testi the testicular, the testicle extractor. That's this guy right here. It extracts the testes. This is my drawing. I might have to change up a little bit. This guy comes off of the center and he's gonna come up into the seat. Which would you have me that seat, sir? This guy's definitely gonna fucking bind up all my tools. I'm gonna have to move the front of my project forward just a little bit so this thing doesn't fucking castrate me even more. What's that about keeping you straight? Yeah, if you give me a guide. Nice little guide. Like I said, I'm not very good with plasma. Haven't used one much in a very long time. Pretty spot on. So we're gonna see how this goes. Could be fucked. So we're eye protection? Uh, some sunglasses or something. <laughs>
like I said, I'm not very good with the plasma. I got a little excited and just got cutting on the line. And definitely got to cutting on the line. We're saved. Wouldn't it be that pretty? Good thing it'll be covered by a seat. You saved the day? Florida. It's ugly. That's ugly shit. I've got my grinding cut out for me. And I'm gonna weld this thing real quick. sticking up yeet so I can bolt the shitter down on there and then the rest of the bracket will weld onto it so as the next day I'm on the seats I've been working on the seats all day I didn't film much of this whole process honestly I kind of that off a little bit but I've been here by myself all day so I closed the doors and I just got down to business because I really need to get this done but I'll give you guys an update show you kind of what I did and run you through it as fast as I can these are some Delrin pucks that I machined they're two inch in the front, one inch in the rear. There's studs that come out of here that are welded into a plate in the backside. I ground that off and beat those through. So now I'm gonna run half inch hardware that'll bolt straight through to my bracket, which my bracket is over here. She is cooling down. I need to put it on the, on the rig, but as you can see, it mounts to four points. This is from a nutsack strap. This is where I got too excited following a line with the plasma cutter and cut it in half and had to weld it back together because I'm a dildo. But on that, she bolts in. The seat bolts up, all this stuff bolts to the seat, and then the seat will drop in the car. And that's that. I'll have it in, I'll show you guys everything, and uh, I'm, I'm trying to get this shit done because I wanna go hit the lot tonight. I wanna go spend it around a little bit because we have Fuel Fest this weekend, and we pretty much just bullshitted our way in on driving in the drift event and told them that we were really good and we knew what we were doing. And I've never even really pulled a hydro handbrake in my life and never clutch kicked second gear or anything like that, and never drove a track, never drove shit in front of people. It's gonna be insane. And we're riding stunt shows, so it's gonna be wild, but I'm gonna get back to it. I'm trying to get this done. It's like five o'clock. I'm waiting for Small Bruce to get here. He's hopefully gonna show up in time to help me bolt the seat in, because it's a two-man job. Here she is all bolted up. Got my nut grabber strap strapped up yonder there. Other harness straps. Now I just gotta drop it in the car. All right, so she's sitting in there. This is how she bolts up. Big ass half inch grade eight stainless. I don't know if you can see back there, but there's half inch back there too. Big guys, real big guys. I'm gonna crawl underneath. I'm gonna throw some big old washers and bolts nuts on there and kind of show you where it bolts up underneath so you can get an idea if you ever want to do it. And there's these dudes. Heat is done, carpet is in. Uh, she's ready to rip. This stage of this build is done. We're gonna pull it out. We're gonna take it on a little test drive. Maddie's in the house. I'm gonna take him out on a little ride in the old little red here and uh, see how the handbrake works out.
I'll give you guys a tour of everything that I did as soon as I hooked this battery up. Got my race quip racing gloves. I'm gonna start driving around with these because they're a little tight. I need to stretch the shit out of them. Damn, what you do the floor over here? Uh, little plasma cutting. You can see my <laughs> bracket right there that I cut out. <laughs> Damn. Well, inside, the seat is done. I still need to pull the bracket back out and paint it and everything, but it's done for the weekend. I'm gonna pull it all back out when I build the one for the passenger seat, and then I'll paint them all together and finish my door panel needs to go back in. I'm gonna do that when I do the whole thing again. Um, let me show you the trunk. Where all the brake lines went. The car is also real dirty. I wanna give it a bath as soon as I get home. But brake lines are hidden. Everything's underneath the speaker box, which needs to come back a little bit. <sighs> Need to clean my speaker. Amp, everything, nice hid, tucked, clean again. I have full interior and a stereo system in my drift car. I want to keep it that way. I would like to suede the whole interior, maybe with like a starlight roof after I cage it. That would be sick. Right now, I'm gonna fire it up, pull it outside, and see if she breaks.
like the ABS, I can't use any left foot brake. He goes, blah, 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 and fucking like, cheer, turn the back and control on. I hate that crackle part. Yeah, she got a little, she got a little crackle. 